Hello, everyone. In this mini tutorial, we will talk about autonomous operating mode. It is suitable for 1. Regular shaped fields 2. Large fields Here are steps to start the autonomous operating mode. 1. Map the field Before starting the autonomous operating mode, we need to map the target field by marking its boundary points. You can choose T-Marker Mapping or Aircraft Mapping method. For the details of the mapping operations, please refer to the related tutorial videos in our channel. 2. Check Spray Function Press the spraying button to evacuate the air in the pipe. Check if the pumps are working properly and the flow rate is correct. 3. Flight Settings Click Settings Click Flight Settings Set the return height. If there are obstacles between the takeoff point and route starting point, make sure the return height is greater than the obstacle height. Set the spray braking action, which refers to the drone's action command when the spray breaks. We suggest setting it to hover. Similarly, we recommend setting the completion action as hover too. 4. Route Planning Click the mapped field. Click Route Planning and adjust the route indentation and operation space accordingly. Click Starting Point Setting and set the route starting point position. We suggest setting it as close as possible to the takeoff point. Click Save after completing the setting. Click Next to set the dosage, flight height and speed parameters accordingly. Five, start the operation. Check the surrounding environment. The pilot should keep a safe distance of six to 10 meters from the drone. Click Start Work and confirm if the safety parameter settings are correct. After confirmation, select the checkbox and slide to unlock the drone. Then the drone will fly to the mapped field and start operation automatically. Or you can manually fly the drone closer to the route starting point, and then slide to unlock the drone to perform the autonomous operating mode. During the operation, you can click the parameters on the remote controller to adjust the dosage, flight height and speed, etc. The modified parameters will take effect immediately. By manipulating the throttle stick, the flight altitude can be temporarily adjusted, but as soon as the throttle stick is released, the drone will immediately return to the initially set operating altitude. 6. Interrupt the operation. There are three ways to interrupt the autonomous operating mode if needed. 1. You can toggle any sticks other than the throttle stick to interrupt the autonomous operating mode. 2. You can click the pause work on the remote controller. 3. You can toggle the SG switch on the remote controller back and forth once to immediately stop the drone at the current position. Note that after switching to S, be sure to quickly switch back to G and keep it in G position. Otherwise, the drone may drift. After the interruption you should manipulate the drone manually in the rest of the flight. 7. End the operation. When the operation is completed, the work report will show up on the screen. Click Confirm after checking it. 8. Drone return and landing. To fly the drone back for landing, long press the RTH button to let the drone return to home automatically, or you can operate it manually. That's all for this tutorial. Follow us for more drone tips. See you in the next video.